Paul and Jess, she's right back there and she really is a little miracle. Seeing her for the first time was a shock. Her ears have been ripped off. She had maggots in her wounds, but she's getting the help she needs. It's painful to see, but little Ruby is hanging in there because she's a fighter. This little fighter is down, but not out. She was viciously attacked by dogs, but still breathing. Blaze's Tribute Equine Rescue has been caring for her since they got the call a few days ago. They was looking for somebody to assist with the pony because obviously there was going to be a lot of veterinary care and medical needs that was um, going to be required for it. And that's just what she's been getting here. She's being stitched and wrapped up and in the very beginning phase of recovery. She uh, feels better each day that we've been doctoring her. Oh, the head wounds would probably take at least up to a good six months. And while Natalie Cross, the owner of this rescue, says they don't know what kind of dogs attacked the pony, the owner did get rid of them. My understanding was is that the um, owner has taken the dogs into the pound to be mainly euthanized. Telling us the woman was the owner of both the pony and the dogs. In Jones, McElrain, KOCO 5 News.